Okay, in this video I have 1 minus tan squared theta divided by 1 plus cotan squared theta equals to cosine squared theta minus 1 divided by cosine squared theta. So what I can write, I can have tangent as tan squared theta divided by cosine squared theta. And here I have 1 minus cosine squared theta divided by sine squared theta. And what I can do, I can... Instead of 1, I can write cosine squared over cosine squared to match it with this one. And here I can write sine squared divided by sine squared to match it with this one. So I have cosine squared theta divided by cosine squared theta instead of 1. And here I can write sine squared theta divided by sine squared theta minus cosine squared theta divided by sine squared theta. So then I do the subtraction, we have cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta divided by sine squared theta minus cosine squared theta divided by sine squared theta. Then what I can do, I can do this division, you know when you have factor inside another factor these two, the multiplication of these two goes on top and the multiplication of these two goes in the bottom. So it will be sine squared theta times cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta, these two, divided by cosine squared theta, sine squared theta minus cosine squared theta. I can write in the bottom. These two are very similar to each other. If I cancel these two, I will have negative 1 in top or in bottom. So it will be negative sine squared theta divided by cosine squared theta, if we simplify it. Sine squared theta by itself is 1 minus cosine squared theta. And I have sine squared theta in the denominator, so it will be cosine squared theta minus 1 divided by cosine squared theta. So as you see, that's exactly what I have on top.